Craig, this being the 20th anniversary of September 11th, you were playing with the Arizona Diamondbacks at that time, that season. What do you remember just about that day and, and where you were when you found out about the news? I was in Arizona um, at home. It was early in the morning in, in Phoenix, and um, it just we, we turned on the TV and, um, you know, just like probably most of America and, and saw things that we, we would had to, didn't really believe, I guess, is probably the best way to say it. Uh, un, unsure what we saw. What were the days like after that, right? Everything stopped and then, you know, the conversations of, of when to resume the season and, and what those days were like as you were waiting to figure out what was next. We were at home, in our home city in Arizona and Phoenix, so it was, you know, we weren't on the road. What being on the road for anybody at that time was, was challenging, so we were at home and so we were kind of waiting um, for what was going to happen, what was the right thing to do, C should we play, could we play, um, did it make sense to play. Ultimately, I think we decided and the country decided that we had to move forward and that we needed to heal and so baseball resumed. We were all happy that baseball was able to resume and hopefully able to, to take a part in the country healing. Well, and it was just a month later that the World Series was played there in New York and you've spoken about that experience. What are your memories of being in New York during that week? with the World Series being played there. It was an unforgettable week uh, of my life. The memories were we visited Ground Zero, the police presence pulling up to the stadium um, and at Game 3 was just incredible, like, like something I'd never seen before. President Bush throwing out the first pitch was, like, chilling. Please welcome the President of the United States. The city was heavy. I, I, that's the best way I've always, that's the only word I've always thought to use about the city at that time. Everything just kind of felt heavy. I felt like I was there for three months. It was, it was five days. I think it was an emotional kind of heavy time. There was incredible baseball games played. Great for the city of New York. Um, couldn't have been any more exciting. That moment of President George W. Bush throwing out the first pitch for Game 3 has been one of the more iconic moments yeah. of that World, World Series. What do you remember about that specific moment to see a, a president walk out for that? I remember our manager, Bob Bradley, shaking, shaking his hand, very excited to that he was there. I remember the thumbs up that he gave on the mound. That was a really cool moment. And then the story I've heard afterward is about him talking about the pitch and, and how he was, you know, excited for it. And really, all he cared about was throwing a strike. That was the most important thing to him. Ice in his veins, really, when, when he went out there. I know you've said in the past that it felt like like the Yankees were going to win those games. Like they were supposed to win those games. Obviously you go on to win the World Series, but being there that week and maybe what that meant to the city of New York, what can you describe what those games were like, the atmosphere there? It was incredible. Um, you know, the, the best baseball games that I've ever played in, been a part of. When Tina Martinez hit the homer in game four, the ground was shaking. It was an earthquake in, in the stadium. I, you know, I don't know if it registered, but there was an earthquake going on. And I I remember you just take this moment and like soak it in of like what's happening around you know baseball as this little part in the bigger world of what's what's going on and it was an amazing it was amazing three baseball games for sure is it hard to believe it's been 20 years it's a great memory for me um, and it's an important memory for me so it's one of those things for me that like stays alive and stays pretty close to me so it never feels that long ago I guess is the best way to say it everything that happened hits you so hard and you just don't forget moments like that in your life you don't forget times like that in your life and so um, I, it'll always be pretty close to me and it'll always feel pretty pretty new and recent.